There's been a sentiment increasingly going around that people disappointed in the Mandalorian finale were only disappointed because of a lack of cameos. And while none of my complaints with the finale have anything to do with a lack of cameos, I do want to defend the idea that people hoping for Boba in particular weren't just looking for cameo bait. I'm sure some were, but I think in a show that was exploring different Mandalorian identities, bringing a guy in who has the trappings of those Mandalorian identities, but doesn't claim the identity itself, could have been an interesting dynamic, especially with how we've seen him interact with both Din and Bo on that subject in the past. And that's the other point. To me, a cameo would almost mean someone unestablished in the show, having shown up kind of for their own sake. Whereas Boba is an established friend and ally of Din, having been a main character in at least three of season two's eight episodes, along with some earlier appearances and working with Din in his own show. At this point, Boba isn't a cameo, he's just a character in that part of the universe. It'd be a bit like saying Grief Karga showing up in Mando was a cameo at this point, or even Bo at the start of the season. So yeah, I don't think a Boba appearance was necessary, but especially when the threat of the fighter force was being so built up and then not addressed, you can easily argue Boba could have been a good option to work with as an improvement without descending into the world of cameo addiction. 